this morning. Let us pray. O oh God, you gave your son to suffer death on the cross for our redemption. And by his glorious resurrection, you delivered us from the power of death. Make us die every day to sin, that we may live with him forever in the joy of the resurrection. Through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Brian Danaher will share with us this morning our first reading. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, the 10th chapter beginning at the 34th verse. Peter began to speak to the people. I truly understand that God knows, shows no partiality. But in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. How he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, and we who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God is right. Amen. Our psalm on this Easter Sunday comes to us from Psalm 118. Our beloved musician, Rock Whiting, will lead this psalm, he'll chant it. You'll see if you're looking at a screen, the psalm refrain in front of you, as well as the words to the psalm. So feel free to, in your own space, sing along with Rock or receive this as a ministry piece this morning. Psalm 118, excerpts. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let Israel now declare God's mercy endures forever. and my song and has become my salvation. Shouts of rejoicing and salvation echo in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord acts valiantly. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Day that 
the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. So let us indeed rejoice and be glad in it. James Cray is sharing our second reading. Uh, this is the second reading from the book of Colossians chapter three, starting at the first verse. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 